What's up my dudes? Today I am going to be talking about some of my weight loss struggles I've had. So I am down currently as of March 8th, 2018, 32 pounds, which is totally dope. I'm excited. I've been doing it a lot slower than some people. That is my first struggle. Um, because like I'll compare myself on Instagram. My journey is actually on Instagram. Feel free to like find me. My cat is playing with my blanket. I'm sorry. Yes, this is a blanket. I'm excited, but my first struggle is that I constantly compare myself to people on social media and Instagram especially on how fast their progress is and I made myself committed to take it slow and steady because I want to win this race, okay? So I compare myself a lot to other people and I really shouldn't. It really bothers me. Um, it's a bad thing to do. It's super negative. And one thing I promised myself when I went on this weight loss journey is to make sure it's a positive one. I want to be enjoying this journey, enjoying the ride, you know. If you're not enjoying it, it's not going to stick. And I found Instagram is either super inspiring and helpful or it's like really bad. Another struggle for me is my body dysmorphia. So <sighs> whenever I look in the mirror, right? I feel like I look like somebody on my 600 pound life. I'm not just saying this for like attention or whatever. Like I literally feel like I look like that. And it's bad and I shouldn't feel that way. It's just not okay. I can see sometimes the physical changes like my arm isn't like as rounded right here if that makes any sense. And also I don't have like triple chin. I only have double chin so like I'm winning. My body issues have been persistent. But, you know, I'm trying to fix them the best I can um, because I realize now that okay, this sort of journey is it's super mental um, and a little bit physical. Another thing I have struggled a little bit with is learning to say no when I'm offered, like, free food, especially if it's, like, McDonald's. Like, McDank game is real, okay? Me and my boyfriend, we don't see each other too, too often, so when we see each other, we're like, let's go go out and get food and na 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 na. And... I usually get like a grilled chicken sandwich or a grilled chicken salad or maybe occasionally like chicken tenders, but sometimes I'm like, so there is the occasional like, you know, I'm human, this is going to happen, I'm going to have a cheeseburger. And the good thing is that that's okay, I no longer feel guilty as long as I don't do it like all the time. When I first started this, it was quite often. Now it's about once a week, which is good. Also another struggle has been my method for losing weight. I tend to kind of blend intuitive eating. I know it's not technically intuitive eating, but working on my relationship with myself, food, and as well as like reteaching myself like nutrition and how to eat and how much and portion control. So for me, I do flexible dieting, which is counting calories. So this isn't for everyone, okay? I've done it before but I did it in a really, really negative way and a negative mindset. And intuitive eating has helped me heal my relationship with myself as well as with food. So now when I do this, I look at it more as a guide, not a rule. And that's so important. Sometimes I can like see myself kind of thinking back like, this is a rule you went over, what are you doing? But I'm like, it's okay, I'm human. And it's a guide, not a rule. Obviously, you want to make sure to hit your goal most of the time, and it's okay to go a little over so once in a while or a little bit under, but that has been something that has also been a struggle for me. Something else that has been a major struggle... Something that has also been a major struggle for me is hearing people talk about their own weight issues and weight problems or insecurities with themselves and this is because they almost always blame food or exercise as an issue and as someone who has done intuitive eating for a while um as well as journaling it's been really really weird because i can kind of see where they're coming from but i know it's not true like you should never punish food or yourself like it's food but if you notice like you're eating a little bit more of processed or junky or fun food or whatever more than you would prefer you can change that but don't punish yourself for eating it you know 
kind of a complicated subject and kind of tricky to talk about, I guess. But it's been interesting. Like, I want to support people that want to make a change, but I know a diet's not going to fix it. It's teaching yourself nutrition and teaching yourself how to eat like a normal person instead of eating your feelings. So it's been an interesting uh, situation hearing a lot of people's input about how they think I should do it or they criticize me if I decide to get like the teeny little Ben and Jerry's. Sometimes I'll buy those because like I'm human. This girl loves ice cream, okay? Obviously it's not all that I eat. I eat relatively healthy. So if I decide to have a mini ice cream, some people will be like, you can't eat that. I'll be like, yeah, I can, boy. It's ice cream, hello. Or if you're like going out to eat, they're like, you're doing so good. You're so healthy. Like, it's about a balance. It's not about being right or wrong. There is no right and wrong. It's about literally just finding balance. And I feel like a lot of people overthink it. So anyways, those have been some of my struggles so far in this weight loss journey, losing weight. If you guys like my video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know that drill, and I'll see you guys in another time. Toodles!